Oh my god, I did the thing. You know the thing where the YouTuber forgets to record the video? <laughs> I just did that. I do it way too often. But this one, this one hurts to not do it a little bit because I, I just did the suke challenge. This is not a real thing. This is not like the, you know, ice bucket challenge or anything like that. This is not a known thing. It's a thing I basically made up, but it probably exists somewhere. Where I just played a game of Go where every move has to be attach an attachment to a previously played stone, either mine or my opponent. And I thought this would be, just, first of all, just a really cool challenge. And second, I thought I'd get a couple of good videos out of it. But, spoiler alert, I just did it on the first try. And so maybe it's not that hard. So I really want to challenge you all to try it. Uh, see if you can do the Suge challenge. Now, I'm not doing this at rank. I'm doing this on a, on a 3 on account. So I'm, I'm sandbagging this a little bit. So I think in my own rank, I don't, I don't think this would ever work. But on tie, the Taijum 3 on, like, I think I just confused him. Like, 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 there are a couple parts in this game where he just, like, gives up and is like, okay, you can have that, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, this is the Suke challenge. And so, here, I'll, I'll, I'll step you through the game. I'm sorry it's not live. I totally record it live, and I'm just staring in disbelief at, like, like while the game's going on, I'm just, I'm just in disbelief at, that I won the game. Uh, I will. Th I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I have a couple ideas for a couple other challenges this month, and so uh, you know we'll, we'll try some d other challenges. But I definitely want to show you this one because it just worked on the first try. I can't quite believe it. Uh, it's very important that I'm white <laughs> because if I was black, I'd have to pass my first move because there's no stones on the board. <laughs> so being white actually is a good thing for the suke challenge. Uh, there's my move. And I extend, right? This is, this is legal. As long as your the rules are as follows, right? As long as your stone is placed orthogonally adjacent to a previously placed stone, it works. Which is kind of a problem when you need to make eye, eye shape in the corner, right? You can't do this shape, right? Like, I can't make a panuki. Like, that's not... Seven and five are not orthogonally adjacent to anything, so... Uh, it really limits some of your, your life and death shapes. Uh, if you build a giant wall, which I do several times over in this game, you can't extend from it to actually develop it in any meaningful way. It's kind of like just fighting. And you have to kind of trick your opponent into playing in areas that you want to open up next. So again, I don't, I can't, I have no good moves here. Like normally you want to extend like a move like this, but I can't do that by the rules of the game. So, so at this point in the game... I'm like, uh, I, w I just have to keep pushing. I have nothing to do. Like, there, I could pass. That's even worse than pushing. And then, here, my opponent gives me just a little hint of, like, a jump. And that's great shape for my opponent. My opponent, if you're black, you should be super happy with this result. So I attach again. I'm like, okay, good. I'll get to play at the top left-hand corner, sort of. And he just extends, and I can, I can hane, because it's underneath, orthogonally, uh, related to the stone. And I connect, this is another point, like, after I play this move, what's White's next move? I can't, no, you know, I can't do anything, right? Normally you'd want to extend, you know, you could play something like this, or, uh, you know, here. You can do all sorts of things. Just definitely something over here. <laughs> extend from this. I can't do any of it. Just like, well, I'll connect. <laughs> Terrible move. Right, this is way too slow for an opening. But I think my opponent is, start, is starting to be like, I don't, like, he doesn't, th he doesn't respect white. Like, he's like, I don't think white's any good. <laughs> or he was paranoid. I'm not sure which, because he played this shape point. Not really a good move for black. Like, not really necessary. I've sort of tricked black into becoming really overconcentrated. Like, he just won't play anywhere else. Maybe black's doing this okay challenge, too. Actually, I know that's not true, because he already knight's moved, but still. Um... This was, this was my, the most natural move. We have a cross-cut extending from the weak stone. Like, yes, Suke challenge, you can extend the weak stone. Uh, but then he jumped, and so that's a problem. Normally you'd want to make a base and extend. I can't do that. So I have to figure out and futz to make some other sort of way to make a base here. And so I was able to do it. No, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I don't want to be invited. Sorry, Taijim. So I got some sort of base here, but it can be undercut. It's already open skirt. There's a cut here. Uh, these two three stone groups can easily be cut through. So it's just a problem. Uh, I did like this little suke 
timing of this uh, because it look it right if you just look at it it looks like uh, black can descend here right but it's actually a problem for black because oops no 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 preview preview All right white has this kind of thing and so if black wants to fight here there is this Atari and white can kill with two stones so black's in a little bit of a sad space there so black just fixes <laughs> And so now I have good endgame. If I'm ever able to save these three stones, I'm already in to all of Black's points that Black has made somehow in this game so far. All right, but again, I need to extend from these groups and get ready and, and get stronger and faster for the upcoming fights, and I can't do that. So I was really handcuffed throughout here. So this felt like there's no way I was going to win this game. Like, it just felt so bad. And then same thing, like, I need to extend from these three stones, but I can't do it. But then my opponent played here and was like, I'm going to gently attack you. And I was kind of like, thank you. That, that's very nice, because now <laughs> I can actually get some strength by attaching here. And when my opponent, like, he played here to make sure he was strong. My, I think my opponent was just like, my opponent's playing really slow. All I have to do is just play a little bit faster and, and just make sure everything's strong and I'll win the game. And for a while, it was very worrying. But then he plays here. He's very, like, this group is getting surrounded... And so he plays all these sort of bad exchanges just to get the group out. Now, it does kill the three stones by this awesome wall and influence on the outside. I can't extend from it. It is kind of useless. <laughs> but, uh, again, here's another point. This is a really funny point where, like, I, I can't extend. I have nothing to do away from this position. I have to keep playing. My opponent hasn't played any of the other corners yet, so there's nothing else for me to open up. So my opponent responds, and I go, okay, I'll respond again. Here you go, have sente. And I go, okay, yes, he, my opponent played away at, at an area where I would like to play an extension, so that's great. So I have to attach again, and I could start a group down here. Uh, we play this sort of little funny hand fight. Again, I have to always suke, so <laughs> this is the strongest shape I was able to come up with in the corner. Um, but then my opponent found this hane, and normally, right, if you're any sort of go player, you just play here, right? And like, this is super strong corner shape now for white. I can't play there. So I have to play a move like this. Isn't that ugly? Like it works, but oh man, is it ugly? And I think my opponent should just play here immediately, right? Because this, this is just sente for, uh, you know, to kill this. Uh, but he was a little bit scared. Again, he was still just thinking, well, Here's a cutting stone, a giant wall. Um, you know, this would be great. Now, this is one of those moments where, like, Suke Go should be totally fine. This net looks a little bit unreasonable, but it totally works. Right? Like, if I could just run this out, all my moves would be legal here. But this net just works. Right? It's it's Atari. It's over. <laughs> so, works, works for black, that is. Right? So... Uh, man, I would love to do that. Or, and if I can't do that, I would love to poke at the shape here and play moves that threaten to run it out. I can't do either of those things. So again, I'm stuck with playing a move like this. Granted, it's actually it's a move Black should have played for free. Uh, and Black played a really slow move here. He probably should have played a little bit faster, but that's okay. So I actually got this corner group out, and he plays this extension. Now this, this extension actually helps me fit, fix the cut. This cut is a, uh, oops, no, 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 go back to the original. This cut's a little bit of a liability because black at some point in the future could consider cutting directly. Uh, and I don't really want to take a move just to fix it either because I'd, I'd really want to fix it efficiently, right? The hard part is like, normally you have a cut like this. You want to fix it, oops, well, here, get black move. Fix it with a stylish move like this that cuts into black, that fixes the cut, asks for a little bit more. I won't be able to play any of those. So, you know, my opponent kind of helps me out a little bit here, but barely. <laughs> I mean, only by the rules of the game, right? <laughs> and again here, what do I do? Now, black is much stronger here. I'm pretty safe. Um, I've got a wall that's not really doing a lot. I'd really like to extend from it. I can't. I have two stones that need help. Uh, I'd really like to extend left, though. I'm going to make the big, biggest extension I can. 
That's that. That's it. That's as far as I can go by the rules of suke go. Okay. <laughs> and my opponent player is like, okay, good. All right, I've got a strong group. I've got a wall. We can attach. And he jumped. He played. He started playing faster at this point in the game. Just for a little while. So he played his his fast shape. And again, at this point, normally I would just want a tanuki and play corner move. Can't do that. So I save my three stones. And then he got to play the corner. And fought over the corner a little bit. He wanted the corner. This is going great. Okay. I've got another wall. So I have this wall and I have this wall. And again, I don't have any points. Like I have I have maybe something here, maybe something here, but black has this pretty big area and a little bit here. Uh, black was a little bit worried about me cutting through here, so he took that uh, stone to make sure he had eyes. So that's fine. So he gave me Sente, but again, same problem. I can't extend. In a normal game, right, white would play something like this, and white would be winning. I can't do that. I can't play that move. So I play this peep, <laughs> I guess. It's a weird peep. My opponent responded. I'll play this Hane. Like, I'll pretend that I already own all this. <laughs> And then my opponent's like, oh yeah, by the way, the three stones over here that you didn't save, I'm going to attack them. And yes, it'd be lovely to just... Oops. Mm -mm. I hate the Taijim reviewer. I'm not sure why I'm doing this in Taijim. I should have downloaded the game. That's because I just played it and was just so infuriated that I didn't hit record. <laughs> I'm recording right now, right? Okay, good. <laughs> uh, da, da, yeah, like, I would love to play a move like this and save my group. No can do. I can't play this move. And, furthermore, if I play a move like this, imagine a scenario that looks like this. Uh, now, now, in this case, white can cut and fight and get something, but if black had any of their stones here, um, white would want to live. I can't play that move. That's That wouldn't be allowed. Right? It's not orthogonally adjacent to anything. So, I can't even just hard crawl this and live necessarily uh, with, and be happy. All right, so I'm taking all this. My opponent is going to try to take it. And we play this little, oops, too fast, attach sequence. He comes on top. I went underneath. And here, I think he just should just seal me in, right? He should just play here. And let whatever happens here, happens here. Uh, like, it, it, actually, it's still dead. Like, I don't think I can live, right? I don't, there's no way to live here. So, why didn't he do this? He was scared of this cut. Mm. Certainly feels like he shouldn't be scared. Oh, there's that. Okay. All right, so there's a cut here. It's a little bit dangerous. Uh, but he can exchange this. And then do whatever he wants. Or mostly. I have to play here? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's game over. For, it's so bad for white. <clears throat> Alright, but anyway. He defended. <clears throat> and then he played this really weird shape move for some reason. Uh, so I got to take the corner and live. And then when he plays this very small extension, I go, great, I can attach to that. And we play this really weird sequence, this, this like, triple Hane shape is great. Great fun. Uh, he has to be very careful because this cut is pretty brutal. So he defends it by playing another Hane, and I extend again. And then he just doesn't know what to do with it. Like, so he's like, I'm going to try all the things, but they don't work directly. <laughs> so in the end, this all ends up becoming white territory, and that's pretty cool. Takes a little more. This is a really big mo point. I really regretted not turning before I did this attachment. That would have been um, a big swing in points. But I was still able to... Atari, like, he still had a defect, so I was still able to come in here and take all this away. And I'm just still suking, right? I've never jumped away from a stone. Every stone has been next to another stone. And so from here, it's basically just endgame. Uh, he has a little bit of sente after, after this point. Um, I can't really play any of the Sente endgame moves because I have to play orthogonally adjacent. 
So I have to play moves like this. And this is the biggest this was the biggest orthogonal move, suke move I could find. Um, but that gives him sente. But then he misreads this, I think. Right? Because he thinks this is sente, but it's not. <laughs> and so I have this clamp. Suke clamp. Attached on the other side. And so I get a little bit more there, and I have this descend. Now this push and this push and <laughs> defend here to make eye space, right? Just extend from my stone. It's kind of funny. He tries something there. And in the end, I can bulldoze through some of this. I think it's not too exciting. You can just make sure that all of my moves are next to previous stones. Of course, the end game, that's not very hard because there's so many stones on the board. It's actually hard to play a move in the middle of nowhere after a certain point. He, it, this is a little bit scary looking, but it doesn't work, quite work. <laughs> Uh, so in the end, I can't play quite an efficient endgame, and I, he, I, we end up counting here, and it's a white by 11 points. So I couldn't believe it. It's like, suke challenge complete. Now, granted, like I said, I'm only playing it on a 3-on game, a 3-on game. I'm a little bit scared to do it at a higher ranking. I think uh, above that, I would just get handled so easily, because players above this rank know when to actually tanuki or play a little bit faster moves. So, I'm a little bit scared. I, I again, I, I'm I'm just floored that this actually worked. Like I actually able to win a game without ever jumping or tanuking away from a previously played stone. Like that is amazing. So hooray, Suki challenge! Uh, a couple other things. Number one, uh, I hope that you all have made Go as part of your New Year's resolutions. For those of you who do New Year's resolutions and that you're all very successful with them. I hope you're all playing a lot more Go this year, or will be playing a lot more Go, both in person and online. Of course, don't be playing in person until it is safe to do so in your own area. Uh, some of you may have noticed I didn't really post a video during Christmas week. Uh, I apologize. I <laughs> Between <laughs> uh, Christmas things and New Year's things, and not, not that I was going to any parties or things, it was just way too many Zoom things. Uh, I also got a really bad ear infection, and so I'm still on steroids and antibiotics for it. And so I've been a little bit out of it. Uh, and I still have some very <laughs> dead and tearing in my right ear. So hopefully by the next video, that'll be recovered for the next challenge that I that we do together. So go try the Suke challenge. Go go make a sandbagger account. Try it, try it a few ranks below what you normally play at and see if you can beat your opponent by only attaching to previously played stones. It's fun. You might amaze yourself. Happy going.